What's up guys, it's Caleb from KCNE Studios and today we are going to be continuing my how I would do my Godzilla series if I had complete control in an entire series and uh, yes, this is the final episode in the series but before we get started, um, I would just want to thank you guys for watching and um, I have a question for you guys. So. Um, Sundays is when I've done my reviews. I've always done them on Sundays. Um, and this coming Sunday, I, well, I finished my Godzilla series a couple weeks ago. And last Sunday, I did my top five Godzilla movies. And this coming Sunday, I want to get back to doing reviews. Um, last Sunday, I just wanted to, you know, get, get something else out there. Um, I also wanted to redeem my uh, favorite Godzilla movies just to let y'all know that. But now, I I want to do another review, but I also want you guys to choose. Like, whether it's Pacific Rim, uh, Ultraman series. I mean, um, I've only seen the first Ultraman series, the original one, but I will definitely continue. Or, I mean, I'll I'll definitely, like, do pretty much whatever, like kaiju movie series or something what, what you whatever you guys want gamera you, you name it i i've pretty much seen almost all the gamera movies <sighs> but yeah um just let me know what movie you guys want me to do a review on please tell me in the comments because i don't want to have to choose for myself because then i'll feel selfish and everything's gonna be all salty but anyways so let's get to this uh story so this movie would be called godzilla destroyer of worlds that's right Godzilla Destroyer of Worlds and you will definitely see why in this one so this one just to let y'all know before I get started with the story I wanted to make it a lot like destroy all monsters but have it focus more on Godzilla you know if you if you know what I mean I mean the other one did but never mind just 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 yeah okay sorry um so let's get started with the story so humans travel to the moon to come to like they're they're making this moon colony and so humans are they're going there and they're they've made this moon base and they start going there um a lot like it's almost like completely inhabitable for pretty much what's left of the world because now people's like a lot of people have died to kaiju so far now monster island the monsters leave and they leave the island and they start going around this world and just destroying cities and things like that and everything's chaos so meanwhile on the moon base there's a meteor shower and everyone stays inside the base and when the meteor shower goes away a team of geologists go out to examine the rocks and one of them he goes up to one of the rocks he starts chiseling, chiseling it excuse me to see what kind of rock it is um suddenly it starts moving and he's like what the heck and then he he chisels it a little bit more and then boom the rock basically explodes and out of the rock there's this human sized alien creature. It looks at the colony or so so basically you get a shot where you're seeing its own eyes. It looks at the colony and then it turns and looks at Earth and then it waits a couple seconds and then it basically just explodes it. So yeah, it kinda just self destructed itself. So, scene cuts to a uh, deep space where four monsters are hovering in the dark void. King Ghidorah, Gigan, Megalon, and just for the sake of having an original monster, or a new original, <laughs> original monster is not the right word, a new monster, let me just say that, named Kazaron. This is just going to be, you know, like a, a red monster, uh, you know, make him look alien-y, I guess. So, yeah, Kazaron, new monster. Okay, so the geologists, they seem to notice the alien, like, exploding. And Godzilla slithers forward in the dark Pacific Ocean and begins to enter ho the Hawaiian Bay. Meanwhile, Mothra and Varen, or Mothra's still in her larvae form, are trampling through the city. Godzilla finds the monsters there. And he, so he basically marches up to, to them, and he charges up his atomic breath and gets ready to blow. And then from behind him, this, uh, 
like the, the the sky turns red. You hear the sound of sonic booms and like you know streamlines coming down from the sky and then boom into the ocean into the ocean falls the monsters Gigan and Kazaron. They storm the island and fight the monsters. And they're pretty much like no match for these aliens because they got like alien technology and stuff like that. So they they ain't got no chance against them. So, uh, scene cuts to the military. Um, they're basically holding a meeting. Uh, they begin their final assault against the monsters. So, G Force they send their massive gunships and atragons, and basically with the remains of the mechas with uh. In my movie, Battle of the Mechas, or War of the Mechas, whatever it's called, um, they used the remnants of those, and they made this mechanical titan they call Super Mogera. So yes, it's going to be like Mogera, but a lot more tripped out, or tricked out, I guess. Um, they sent all their forces to Sydney, where Rodan, Baragon, Manda, and Angiris are. Um... This was their final, this is their final stand for, like, all hope for humanity, basically. This is, like, their last battle before humankind goes into oblivion and they have to go to the moon on their moon colony to stay there. So all the monsters, they're desolating the city. They begin their assault and seem to have the upper hand until the space monsters show up. None of them are a match for the monsters. So the mon the earth monsters they have to escape. Basically, King Ghidorah and Megalon they come down and you know they they just fought them, but the earth monsters they're no match. So all the monsters of Monster Island they return to the island like all the monsters, like even the ones that were in Hawaii, they all swim together. Godzilla's with them. Um, they, they come to the island and they find that it's a burned dead land. They kind of stay there and just drown in their sorrows, kind of. And then they go, and then they make their way to Mount Fuji. So now the space monsters, they destroy what little of the world is left. Humanity, they had to escape to the, to the moon colony. And honestly, from here... That's their, this is like their last time being on Earth for humans. Then they just all, like, like for eternity, basically. They're, they're doomed because of their monsters. And I was thinking about them coming back in for a second chance. But then when you think about it, monsters, um, Toho monsters at least, they're supposed to be, you know, kind of a, a theme and a message of, you don't get second chances and things, these kind of things. So, I mean, you know, so there you go. Uh, so the earth monsters, they took ground in the valleys of Mount Fuji. The space monsters, they come and they had their war. So there's this giant epic battle with the four, mo the four alien monsters, which are like basically superhuman monsters. I mean, you know, super monsters, I guess. Um, against all the monsters of Monster Island. Um, the Earth monsters, they seem to have the upper hand when all that was left of the space monsters was King Ghidorah. He grabs Godzilla and flies into space with him, leaving nothing but a trail of gold spores behind him. So you know how, like, you know Mothra, she leaves those, like, gold sparkly thingies? Like, when she, when she like, flaps her wings at people? This is what he leaves behind. Um... Ghidorah, he, fl he flies to his own planet, which is, like, super-duper far away. And he throws Godzilla down, starts beating on him. Godzilla, he's basically dying. Unable to fight King Ghidorah for much longer. Suddenly, out of the sky comes the final hope for Godzilla. Rodan comes out of the sky and just rams into King Ghidorah, killing, killing King Ghidorah. But almost killing him in the process. So, like... All three monsters, they're lying down on the surface of the dark planet. King Ghidorah, dead now. and But the th two monsters, they're basically doomed to stay on the planet forever. 
until Godzilla. He looks around at the dead planet or the dark, the dark, desolated or not desolated, just just the dark planet. He looks around and he sees a ravine, like a crack in the surface of the planet, leaking radiation. Hope. He he grabs Rodan's carcass and he walks over to the leak in the earth and they absorb the radiation. And then they finally absorb enough. Rodan grabs Godzilla and he flies back to earth with him. But as they're in the atmosphere, Godzilla, he shoots his breath into the ravine. As they're flying away, the earth, the planet just explodes they return to earth and you know they they get back on land intense music plays and Godzilla looks up into the sky and roars and that's basically where it ends so yeah that's how I would do my own Godzilla movie um this one I I this this is probably the one I enjoyed making the most um or the second one I also enjoyed making the second one in the series a lot but yeah that was about six or seven movies I believe and um yeah so that's my that's my series um sadly we have to end it here but surely there will be other things to be uh talking about on Wednesdays I just thought it would be cool to take um just make a new topic on Wednesdays uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just get back to our monster talks for Wednesdays from now on, um, unless I think of some other thing. But yes, make sure guys to leave a comment and tell me what movie you want me to review next. I will review anything as long as it's kaiju related. Uh, heck, I'd even review like the Iron Giant or something because that I get I, I would consider it a kaiju movie, but that's for another video. So anyways, guys, I just really want to thank you guys for watching, especially you guys that stuck around through the whole series. And, uh, yeah, like Ivan Flores, all you guys, you're amazing. Um, and I really couldn't, like, if I didn't get you guys who actually comment and have conversations with me, I probably wouldn't be doing this. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. I could not tell you how awesome and fun this was to do. But, yeah. I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.